My name is Dave Mayer, uh, background painter at Hasbro Studios. I'm working on their new Transformers series, which will air uh, in a couple months. And they did their first season, and now we're back on to our second season. That's definitely the most exciting project I've worked on so far. And I've done previous work in theme park, um, video games, and I've been teaching at CGMA for um, almost two years now. I was always into art. I loved drawing as a kid. I even went to school for illustration, but I was still kind of like unsure, you know, what I really wanted to do specifically for a job. But I actually got a job as a drafter for a construction engineering company, and it was hard work. I didn't know what I was doing, and then I just worked hard at it, and I got better. And I was like, wow, I can do this. And but then over time, I was like, well, wait, if I work this hard doing drafting, why don't I just work hard and do art and do something that I'm really interested in doing and that's basically what what kind of you know doing well at that job inspired me and made me go back to school and really focus and go into animation um, I had a teacher in school, Bob Cotto, who was, um, you know, did a really great class. And then I talked about, oh, I like to do painting and landscape painting and gouache. And then I was like, oh, you know, I'm just not, not that good. And he's like, yeah, you're not good yet. And I thought that was great because he, you know, he's with, with you know, working at an, in the, over a long period of time, then you get better. But, you know, you're not good right now, that's okay. And so just that, just the way he said it, said like, you're not good now, but you're gonna get better. And, you know, but you will get better in the long run. And so I found both those experiences really, you know, inspiring in, in, in their own way. What I love about teaching is just showing the students, you know, new ways of doing things and introducing them to Photoshop and painting techniques and watching them grow. Like when students work really hard and, you know, I see that that they take what I say and apply it to their work and how their work is instantly better, you know, the next week. Like for me, that's gratifying to see that I'm instructing them and telling them and they, they're using it and they're getting better. Feedback is important because even if you just watch a video, you know, sometimes you're not sure if you're applying it right. But having someone who has more expertise than you, like I talked to my boss, you know, he can paint way better than me. And so he can see, you know, way more holes in my game than I can because he has the experience. And so having someone more experienced to give you that guidance to help you know push you along the way um, is really helpful and it can help you grow a lot more than just kind of doing things on your own with no outside input. My philosophy is to you know really work hard at what you do and really try to be good whatever you do be good at it don't just you know do it halfway and go all the way and go for it and for young artists I would say you know work hard you know and, and be persistent, you know, keep track of your work and see the progress over, over time because when you work hard and, um, you know, over a long period of time, it's not just one class, it's a few classes, it might be a year, a couple years, but when you look back, you'll see that you'll, you'll improve and you find that, you'll find that really encouraging.